So then you don't have to do the legwork of the argument. Right. It's, it's a lot harder to take a position that says you should be who you are and you have to fit that into society rather than saying, this is what the moral mm. imperative is. This is why we need those laws. And if you deviate from that, you're yeah. the bad guy. So unfortunately, they've just embraced that, I think, too much. So it's like, it's like one of those things, like when I go to these colleges and I'm usually invited by libertarians and it's like... Libertarians want low taxes and limited government and live how you want to live, right? Like that's the basics of it. But they'll often say, you know, I talk about low taxes in a college class and people say I'm racist. And it's like, well, how does race get into that? But what they will say is that what they'll say is, well, wait a minute. If you want low taxes, that means you don't want money going to people who need it more. And often it is people of color who need it more. So you inherently are racist. You have to think on how to make the counter argument to that. I think there's a very valid counter argument that I buy into, but you have to think. It's very easy to just take somebody who thinks the reverse of you and go, you're racist. Right. You're racist. It's such a I lazy, think this way. Such a lazy way to approach an idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's so lazy. The only thing I have, I have a problem with what Jordan has been saying lately is this idea of enforced monogamy being the solution to incels, these involuntary celibates. Yeah. That's not going to help. So what do you think? Th they have I, to become men. Well, what do you think his definition of enforced monogamy is, just to be well, clear? Well, culturally enforced monogamy, where people, you know, the, the culture encourages and supports the idea of monogamy. Yeah. I think marriage. That, In effect, yeah, he's marriage. talking about, he's yes. just talking about marriage. And that, yeah, but that's not going to clear the way to people that no one wants to fuck. It's just not going to. The idea is that there's a bunch of men out there that are taking up all the viable females because no one's getting married and they're just, there's no room for these incels. No. They are not attractive to women, whether they're not physically attractive. You tell me Harvey Weinstein was physically attractive, that <laughs> right. fucking disgusting pig. Forget about what he did to those women, or the, the rapes or the sexual assaults. He had a gorgeous wife. Yeah. His wife was gorgeous. That was a voluntary relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did that happen? It happened through success. It happened through success and confidence and whatever the fuck else he's got, you know, intellect. I don't know what his mind's like. These, these incels they have to become men okay and there's well, a jordan's lot. all about that i mean his whole message is that. right i just don't think that enforced monogamy has any factor whatsoever in that so he i think he would say this but i'm not his lawyer but i think he used the phrase all he meant was marriage that generally societies that more people are married okay, and people remain married right so i it's think it's not going to help i think perhaps if he was being interviewed again by by her he would use a different phrase but just, even if they, even if he says marriage marriage is not going to help incels these guys that are involuntary celibates they have to become attractive so they have to become men well the so rest of his message character. is about that but they, they they have to do difficult things yeah that's what they have to do they have to they have to get build confidence together. get your shit together and uh, martial arts, I think, is one of the best ways to do that. I've seen so many men that were like insecure and dorky and do they become fucking nerd assassins <laughs> through martial arts. And it, yeah. I think it's a great way to build confidence. And I think there's this, an extreme lack of uh, adversity, uh, like physical adversity in a lot of people's lives. And overcoming physical adversity is what leads to a lot of confidence in men. And I, I just think that there's a lot of men that are just have no idea whether they can or can't do anything difficult. And they have massive insecurity because of it. Yeah. I think he would agree with every word. That I think you he just, would, too. Uh, every word that you just said there. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that marriage is not fixing it. You know, culturally enforced monogamy is not going to fix it. They, they have to become men. And they have well, the, woman has to have a reason to want to have sex with you. Yeah. Yeah. So I think he would agree with that. I think he would say that once you accomplish that, that that's when you will find more women and that the next step, the next natural progression in life is that you will find someone that you want to be partnered with and that that then has the best value for a society. I, but I don't want to completely state his case. Mm, it's an but interesting I, case. Yeah. But, you know? but he completely, I mean, look, why is it that for the little bit that these <laughs> articles get right about him, it's that he's helping men? He is. Yes. He is also helping women, but yes. He is helping men well, just men need, get their shit together. They need framework for sure. Yeah. I mean, people need this this thing about discipline, and you know, are you are you are you aware? You know, you're aware of Jocko, right? Jocko mm -hmm. Willing. Yeah. That discipline equals freedom is like one of the best catchphrases. It's so accurate. It's empowering. It's so empowering. Get your shit together, and then you, you the time that you have for recreation, you'll appreciate it so much more. You don't appreciate rest when you're fucking off all day. Yeah. You appreciate rest when you've worked hard. That's when it means something to you, when you've accomplished goals. That's when this celebration is, is something that 
you, you get a good feeling from it. Do you have you a just, part in your life that you feel like is lacking in that department? In what department? In just like getting your shit together, like not slacking on something. No, I'm pretty kind good at thing. that. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. I mean, I do a lot of shit. The, the only way I could ever do as many different things as I do is if I just get after it. Yeah. I get after it pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, I'm not insecure in that. I mean, whether it's through martial arts or any kind of exercise or work, I just, I, I take pride in getting things done. I take pride in working. Yeah, You know, especially working towards things that are important to me, whether it's working on my set, working on my stand up, whether it's working on a podcast, whether it's working on my martial arts or my fitness or yoga or whatever. I get after it, man. You got to. Yeah. And for me, it's not a matter of whether or not it's an option. It's like brushing my teeth. I don't decide one day, I don't want to brush my teeth today. I just fucking brush my teeth. And when there's days where I'm doing fasted cardio, when that alarm goes off, it's not a matter of whether or not I shut the alarm off. That's not an option. Yeah. You get up, you put your fucking shoes on, you get the dog, and you go running, because that's what you do. And if you just decide that's what you do, then you get things done. And then a month later, you're like, oh, Holy look, shit. we did this all month. And then six months later, it's like, oh, I did this half a year. And then if you're doing jujitsu, you're like, oh, shit, look, I got a blue belt. Oh, shit, now I'm a purple belt. And that's how you become a black belt. Yeah. You just, you know, and I got This my... is the good type of progressive because yeah. it gets progressively easier, too. I told you, I'm doing that. It doesn't, though. It doesn't get easier. You don't think so? It's fucking hard every time that alarm goes off. Like, fuck. But you All don't right, think it's easier for you now than right when you started? I don't know, Cause, man. Because you know the reward of it. You know that that reward There's is there. There's some enforcement. There's yeah. some enforcement in the success that I've had in, in completing these tasks. But every fucking time I go to yoga class, I'm like, oh, Jesus, 90 minutes and a 104 degree temperature with these all these women that are going to humiliate me. <laughs> <laughs> they can definitely do things that you can't do. They're just, fi well, they're, just, they're tough, man. There's a lot of these older ladies that are fucking tough. Yeah. You know, they just gut it out. I was this one lady that goes there. She's like 60 years old. She doesn't even bring water. And this lady's in there for 90 fucking minutes, sweating Jeez. it out. She's there every time I go. I'm like, Jesus. She's not bringing water. Are you sure she's 60? She could be like 20 and just yeah, dehydrated. She's dehydrated. You know? <laughs> no, she's gray haired and tough as shit. She drinks water before and she drinks it after. But when she's in that class, she's just tough. It's just, you know, they're ne it's never easy to do. You know, it gets a little bit easier when you get better at it, but then you just try harder and it makes it more difficult. If you're always giving 100% effort, it's always going to be hard. You know, you, you take some pride in the fact that now I can go two miles through the hills and, you know, and reach the point of exhaustion where before it was one or whatever. Yeah. Whatever your little, little progress markers are, you get some satisfaction in that. But it's always difficult to get going. The, the, the hardest step is the first step. It's not the 30th step or the 100th step. It's the fucking first one. It's getting on the trail, getting going. It's the hardest thing. The hardest weight to lift is the first one. Because once you get going, like, okay, I'm a half hour into my workout. I'm writing things down that I'm supposed to be doing. Now I got, you know, 20 chin-ups and then the burpees and then all these. You have to do it. Yeah. You just have to do it. And so many people have a hard time doing it. If you would have ever 